There's a new concept in smartphones, but it's not one that you would know about if you've been chasing only the latest and the greatest from the big brands like Samsung and Apple. It's the concept of the reference design. And that is really a template for a smartphone that anyone can take away with them and hand over to a manufacturer to produce a perfectly functioning high-end smartphone at a low cost, but most important with your brand on it. What I have here are two reference design phones, one from Intel and one from Qualcomm. They're the guys who make the chips that power most uh, smartphones, in particular Qualcomm. So Qualcomm have about 350 different reference design for phones. And for the first time, we have one of those in Africa. This is the MTN Stepper, which uses a full-on Qualcomm design, the whole template, they just handed it over to a man manufacturer in the East, and they had it made at exceptionally low cost. And that cost is $50, 500 Rand for a three and a half inch screen. Uh, besides that, a high-end smartphone. And then the Intel YOLO, it has the Intel logo on the back or Intel inside, and also branded by Safaricom in Kenya. They in fact only sold this phone in Kenya as an experiment, but again, the pricing is what is so amazing, $60 or 600 Rand. So the idea of reference designs is to bring down the cost of phones, in particular for emerging markets like Kenya and South Africa. Vodafone have tried something similar, not with reference designs, but with phones that they have had developed for them basically on spec. So they put out the specs that they require, they invite companies to tender, and the company that won the tender for both of these devices, the Vodafone Smart Mini and the Vodafone Smart 4 Mini, was Alcatel of all companies. So the Vodafone uh, Smart Mini is a three and a half inch screen like the other reference designs phones that we had a look at, but selling at around 65 to 70 dollars. And then the Vodafone Smart 4 Mini is a four inch screen selling at around 80 dollars. So around 800 to 900 Rand in South Africa. And that means that high spec in effect, high-end smartphones are becoming more and more affordable and accessible. When the price drops down to below $50, you know that there's a revolution happening. And that revolution is going to turn into a smartphone revolution across Africa. <laughs>